How you feeling, Miles? A little like myself? Right. No, but <laughs> feel good enough. You saw a foot, Achilles die. Is a foot still the worst of the issues for you? I can't go into that. <laughs> it was, obviously, there's multiple things, so just, you know, dealing with as they, they come and, you know, no excuses. Just go out there and ball. I know you don't want to get into specifics, but are you concerned no. that you could cause further damage or have they told you that you can play through this without being worried about causing any further damage? I'm not concerned about causing any further damage. Just go out, go out there and play. So my Achilles, when you hear Achilles, that, you know, that raises a red flag because that can obviously be something serious. But do you feel like this is just something that you can manage and monitor and it's going to be fine? Yeah. Like I have the right people around me, the right training staff here to you know, make sure that everything uh, is uh, pretty, pretty stable for the rest of the season. So, not too worried. Well, I'm sure you guys want to get off to a faster start than last week. Would it have to happen to make that happen? Like I said, it's all about execution. It's got to be where we're supposed to be at the right time, and uh, you know, got to have you know better eyes, and that's all around the. Uh, the uh, you know, defensive eleven. So, just about us, you know, being being who we we know we can be. You know, it's just an expectation that you know, we we've had, and you know, we're living up to that. With the offense, with the offense struggling through three games, do you feel is a defense a responsibility to be dominant and take some load off? It's always our responsibility to be dominant. We have the players to do so, and that's like I said, that's all about our expectations of ourselves. You know, we come out there expecting to win the game. On, on defense every time we step on the field. So you know, whether they play great and we put up 40 or you know, we put up 10, that's what it is. We just got to expect to you know, make sure they put up less. Last year, Gardner Minshew, you guys were in a shootout with him when he was with the Colts. Just what do you see from him on film this year that may be a little different than, than last year in Indianapolis? And uh, just what type of a challenge does he present to you? There's not much different. No, he's a gunslinger. Um, and when, when he gets hot, he can he can be really really darn good. And like you saw last year, he can, he can he can make it to a shootout quick. So I'm just trying to you know keep him under wraps, knowing that he's going to scramble to throw. He doesn't like to really you know, scramble to you know to get yards or you know, not going to worry about him being a runner, but you know, just staying on our feet and uh, you know making those plays before he can, he can really get going. Miles, I know we've asked you questions like this before, and it's not defense versus defense, but Max Crosby, like how exciting is that to go up against him? What have you seen from him so far? I like Max. Yeah, there's, there's no, you know, me versus him. I mean, it's, I'm sure people will make it stat-wise or, you know, make some graphics or edits that, that look like that, but I like his game. I like I like how he plays. Uh, you know, he's 100%. Uh, every time he steps on the field, hell, I don't think he comes off the field. So, you know, stuff like that, you know, I, I admire from him. So, I'm going to continue to do what I do, watch him, you know why he's on the field. But, you know, when I go out there, you know, my mind's on you know, making it happen for my team and for my defense. Miles, off of, off of that, how much do you, do you study guys like my, uh, Max and, and other edge rushers like that just to see what they have in their game that maybe, you know, if you're looking to add anything, you know, to – you know, you're already, you know, you're Arsenal. Uh, I like to watch guys who are in similar situations to myself. So, you know, there's, there's a whole host of moves. It's, you know, a matter of will I be able to use that move in the situation which I'm in, you know, whether it's double teams or chips. And um, that, that doesn't happen very often. Max is one of those guys. So you know, I like watching, watching him and how he attacks it and, you know, just – Know, how relentless he is, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I really appreciate in his game. So, no, there's there's a couple of guys I definitely I definitely do watch, but you no, know, I I like to stick to my game you know, as as well as I can because I feel like my my situation is pretty unique. I know how bound to turn around and play, but a week off do you a world of good to just get everything as right as possible for the next 13 weeks? Maybe, but you know, that's what we have a bye week for. So. Until then, you're not going to get enough for 95. Um, along those lines, you know, from the outside looking in, it seems sort of daunting to think about, like, 
Miles is dealing with all these injuries, how and there's 14 games to go. How do you sort of compartmentalize just, you know, not thinking too far ahead and taking one game at a time and managing all this stuff? Uh, well, just manage it as we go. You know, we got multiple days to do that, you know. Yesterday, you know, taking some time off, Tuesday, Monday, and all those, all those days, even right after the game, Sunday, you know, getting right on it. You know, I, I try to spend, you know, every moment, you know, preparing my body for the rigors of the season, and sometimes some bumps and bruises like I have now. So, my injured animal is, is you know, the fiercest, so I'm going to be at my best. You, you sort of, you mentioned at some point it might be something you got to do surgery on. Has, has the indication kind of been that you might be able to get back to playing Make it through the season, wait, put it off that long, or could it become something that you have to do soon? We haven't talked about the entire season. We're talking about one game at a time. So, make it through this game, see how I feel, the next, and then, you know, each one individually. We'll make it to the bye week, and then we reevaluate, see where we are, and, and go from there. Miles, the Raiders uh, are a team that they're sort of in gut check mode. What Antonio Pierce called out his guys after their last game about. Some guys are making business decisions. Gardner almost got benched. Uh, what's it like to face a team that is sort of in that kind of mode where they, you know, really have to try to come out and get? Okay. Uh, I mean, we faced one like that last week, so not much different. And when a person's back against the wall, you know that you know that you're going to get their very best shots. So we got to make sure that you know, we we avoid you know, what we can and then you know, give them our best because you know. Just like them, our backs are against the wall. So we're in the same situation, and we got to treat it as such. Miles, what sort, of what sort of challenges come with playing out on the West Coast? I mean, time difference in, you know, discipline. You know, being being out of your, your home, you know, you're away from, you know, your your comfortable environment where you, you know, you're used to, you know, everything being you know, right there, your beck and call, whether, you know, you need, uh, an IV before the game, or you need to, you know, get a certain you know, food or, or shake or something in the morning. Something you can rely on. You know, all those things are a little bit foreign when you go to you know, somewhere else, especially the West Coast, which is so different from where we are. So you just have to be able to, you know, plan ahead and prepare for for those kind of trips. And you know, I think last year was a big wake up call to a lot of guys, and we'll, we'll plan to execute much better. Miles, when you talk about the um, becoming the defense that you know you can beat, what is it? Is it a total unit? What needs to happen? What are you looking for to start? You know, starting this in this game in Las Vegas. What, are you, what is the focus? I mean, much like we talked about last week, uh, Stefanski addressed us. You know, starting fast and, and picking up speed. I think um, you know, we started fast last week, but you know, then we, we got a little bit comfortable and we slowed down the level of the gas a little bit, and they jumped on us. You know, they ex out executed and uh, they started making some big plays. So it was a combination of both you know, us, us, you know. Relaxing a little bit, allowing them to make those big plays, and you know them, they were making, you know, winning those 50-50, uh, you no know, balls and plays. So you know, we gotta, we gotta, you know, stay on it the whole game, you know, and there, there can't be any let off throughout. I know you had a lot of pressures in this last game. You know, you know, as a unit, though, are you guys pressuring the quarterback the way you want to, as frequently as you want to, or is that something you guys are talking about? I need to increase. We always want to get more pressure. I always want to you know, get more sacks, more, more plays, more TFL. So as many as as we got last game, you know, we want more. And not all the speed kids. So leadership groups, you guys um, addressed just the whole notion of going out to Vegas and making sure, especially coming out of data, making sure that everybody knows this is a business trip and you have to stay focused on that. That's something we addressed at the beginning of the week. So uh, that's already been been handled. And now you so really at the uh, – Quick game stuff that, that the Giants hit you with to try to sort of take advantage of the way you guys play aggressively. What's the counter to that? Well, I, I don't expect that we'll get you know, a similar dose like you know, we got last week, but you no. Know, then we just have to be able to you know, bat down those those balls that are that are that are low and coming over our head quick, and uh, we'll be able to get them get them frustrated frustrated early, you know, getting some some PBUs, whether that's from you know, the DBs or from us up front, and they're working together so you know, that he he starts to lose faith faith in those uh, those quick throws, and then uh, then we can really start to hunt. Hey Miles, you were, you were still really effective last week, despite the injuries. But did you feel like you were limited out there in what you could do? Yeah, like I felt like I was limited, but um, again, I'm not going to make any excuses for it. You know, that's just 
what it is right now, and everyone's you know, dealing with you know, their own issues, whether you know, physically or mentally. You know, mine have to be you know, very apparent, so um, we're just going to get them as, as uh, right as they can, and then I'll be out there and uh, playing at the best, best that I can. And when, you talk you about Ma when you talk about Max never leaving the field, I mean, we've talked about your reps in the past, but his stats like are crazy. How many full games he plays compared to other people? Um, how impressive is that? That's that's impressive, impressive as hell. I did that my second year for about five or six games. I think I ended the year over ninety five percent, and I feel like the season whipped my ass. So him being able to do that consistently, and uh, you know, always you know having more and more energy it seems. You know, I'm not sure what what he's on no doing off season to get his uh, cardio and condition like that, but I need to I need to make that my next step. So I'm very very impressed with that, and I know he's a level player. How did you originally hurt your foot? Last one. Yeah. How did you originally hurt your foot? How did I originally hurt my foot? I don't think it was one uh, certain thing. I think it was a combination of you know, you know the uh, the surgery I had when I was young, and you know, many other things along the way. You know, there's a lot of physical activity from many different sports that have. No, led up to where I am now. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yep.